Hi, this is Jason Lawrence, real estate advisor. Today we're gonna to be talking about how a mound septic system works. So we're in the process of putting in a couple of the holding tanks for the mound system. The, uh, the mound itself is actually located behind the dump truck here so you can't see it. And then the house is located over here. You can see right now, we're making a little trench. That's where the sewer septic pipe's gonna come out of the house. And it's gonna flow through this trench, through this pipe. And these big tanks that just showed up here on the truck are actually gonna sit in the hole that's being dug by Chris Johnson here. Chris Johnson, CJ Soil, the best in our area, that's for sure. I use them on my house. Um, anyway, so these are the tanks that go in the ground. So you run the sewer pipe out of the house and all the waste that comes out of the house, and this is something that you need to do if you're building, this is basically just a farm field. There's no sewer or water in this area, so your only form of a septic sanitary system is putting in your own self-contained system. We're in Wisconsin. Racine County, and in this area, the most common type of septic system is a mound septic system. So I'll keep going on with how this works here. So we got our excavator right here digging the hole. All right, so I had a little connection issue there. These are the concrete tanks. So everything you put in your toilet inside the house is coming into these tanks here. I know it's a little bit of a, you know, maybe not so pleasant subject, but hey, it's got to go somewhere. Also, if you have a mound septic system in your house, the only thing you should be putting down your toilet is toilet paper and Kleenex. Nothing else. No napkins, no paper towel. Go light on the laundry detergent because that can clog up the filtration system in there. So let's continue to talk about the process. So the waste comes out of the house. It flows into these tanks that are gonna be placed underground over here. It flows into one main tank that has a filter in it. So everything goes into one holding tank and then it's filtered and pumped into the next tank because you can't pump solids, whatever you're putting down there into the next tank that then flows into the mound. So it comes out of the house into tank number one. There's a filter that keeps all of the solids within this tank and then all of the water, we'll call it water, flows into tank number two. Tank number two has a pump in it, almost like a sump pump. Anything that ends up in tank number two gets pumped out to the mound system. When they put a mound system in, in our area especially, because we have hard clay soil, they have to dig down a little bit. They put in sand, they build up dirt on top of it so that one, when, when the water, we'll call it again, gets pumped from tank number two to the mound, it can percolate through that mound that's built and it also gets filtered. By the time it actually hits ground level here where the clay is, it's pretty clean, we'll call it water. So that's how the process of a mound works. Um, not very complicated. A lot of times, depending on where the tanks and the mound are gonna go, you may have to have a pump in your basement to pump it. If you've got floor, floor stubs, floor drains in your basement, you're gonna put a bathroom down there, or even the condensation tube that runs off your furnace has to drain into the floor drain. So what happens with that water, it's gotta go out to the septic. So it gets pumped up out the basement and then out to the septic. If you're lucky enough to have your home positioned um, in such a manner that you can put the tanks and the mound below it, everything can be gravity fed and just run right out to the system, much how it is with a, a sewer system when you're building in a subdivision. Usually the sewer laterals are set lower than your basement floor and everything can just run gravity fed into the system. So I just saw they were putting in this system today, so I just wanted to stop here and do a little, little video on it. Um, please feel free, free to share this with anybody who's gonna be building or looking at property out in the country that doesn't have a sewer system because this is something that they're going to need to know and something that's going to be a little bit of an added expense to the house. So typically 
a mound system for all the labor, the tanks, putting in the mound and the permits runs about $14,500 in our area. So if you're gonna be building a new home, that's something to make sure that you're budgeting for in your initial building contract. Uh, again, if you feel uh, that you could share this video with friends, family, uh, co-workers that are gonna be building soon, I would really appreciate that. Thanks for your time. This is Jason Lawrence, real estate advisor, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.